Omoyele Shuore, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, in the 2023 election, has fingered some Igbo elites in the continued detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazen Namdekano. Shuore, the Sahara Reporters publisher, made this known in a recent interview with Rudolf Okonkwo on 90 Minutes Africa. The activist, come politician, said he had expected that President Bola Tinubu's first act in office would be to release Kano from detention, concluding that the incarceration of the IPOB leader reflects a deep-seated problem with the Igbo by the Nigerian state. He further argued that Kano is a casualty of the post-civil war marginalization of the people of the South East extraction. Nigeria has an Igbo problem. It is like when a father is dying, they will tell their children, I have a problem with Igbo people. Please continue from there, he said. She already disappointed Tinubu, hasn't freed Kano. The publisher stressed that he is disappointed that the president Bola Tinubu led administration has not deemed it fit to grant Kano freedom, alleging a conspiracy behind his detention. I expected that the first act of Tinubu in office would have been to to release Namde Kano, but the fact that it got worse shows that there is a kind of conspiracy going on. I also know that there are some Igbo elites who are complicit in his detention because there was a time when there were discussions about his release and they said he should hold on until after the election. And now, after the election, the devil seems to have intervened more strongly, he added. The IPOB leader has been kept in the Department of State Services, DSS custody, since his arrest in Kenya and subsequent extradition to Nigeria in 2021. He's currently standing trial on a seven counts charge bordering on treasonable felony. Record that Kano flouted his bail conditions in 2017, which was granted by the Federal High Court in Abuja over charges filed against him by the federal government. This prompted the court to revoke the bail and issue a bench warrant for his arrest. However, he fled his home in Abia State after men of the Nigeria Army stormed his family compound to effect an arrest warrant. In April 2022, Binta Yanko, the presiding judge, struck out eight of the 15 charges preferred against him. In a judgment delivered on October 13, 2022, the Remaining seven counts were also quashed by the appeal courts. Though the appellate court ordered Kano's release, the federal government opposed the decision and filed for a stay of execution on October 28, 2022. Subsequently, the government initiated an appeal at the Supreme Court. In March this year, the IPOB leader was denied bail, and the same thing happened again in May. When some people come and tell you that uh, Nigeria is a zoo, they say, oh, why are you saying that? Oh, that means you are an animal too. That means you are living in the zoo. I am of, of the opinion, I have said personally, that Namde Kano is innocent. This is no matter of a one is a, you know, assumed to be innocent until proven guilty. No, because I believe that there is no any further investigation going on to warrant that, oh, they are still doing some investigations to ascertain whether he's going to be jailed or not. Nothing of that, of that nature. Today they will adjourn. Today they will say, oh, they have refused his bid. What is wrong? What is the problem? And I gave an instance of it. What just happened concerning one of the top politicians in the North who was just released, who was released recently, Farouk, concerning first subsidy saga and corruption. Of course, they found that he did something. It didn't take long and they jailed him. Now he's out of uh, the, this thing, the prison. So why is it that uh, if really Namde Kano had committed any offense whatsoever, be it whatever they want to target, let them jail him. There is no offense that does not have a um that does not have punishment uh, uh, to back it up. So why are they keeping him? You keep somebody. It's just it's so annoying and it's so and it's so it's evident. It's evident that there's a and it is a it, Nigeria has a ego problem. No matter how you want to, to look at it. And don't forget, a lot of people have said it several times that for Tinumbu to have come in, there are a lot of things that were he was told that if, and I'm, I'm sure Namikano's 
uh, matter is part of it that he wants you get them make sure you don't release this guy i don't even know the kind of game they are all playing you see people who are elderly you they want to respect but they don't act accordingly we are not even talking about the corruption that they are involved in it's so annoying if Namrekano has done anything jail him so keeping him there shows that he's done nothing why going back and forth a whole nation you don't even know the bearing you don't know the direction at which they are going because we say this the 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 government will say no that is not how it ought to be now buari tell me what is he enjoying i don't understand but i don't even um the allegations that uh now uh, shawara is levying against the Igbo elites and i think uh, maybe in that regards that if namlekano was released before election maybe something could have happened i don't think uh, the Igbo's Igbo leaders i don't i'm not i'm just saying it could be it could not be but i'm just like i don't think uh, they would want namlekano to be there forever because i don't even know what they are gain, gaining namlekano in detention is not going to do them any uh, favor whatsoever politically is unfortunate i don't know we do things with impunity and we come out and and be pretending and acting as if nothing happened as if we are you know law abiding people it's unfortunate it's really really unfortunate and so annoying for how long are, are they going to keep this tell me shawara is saying the truth i still wonder why kano is still being held when the courts are set him free if the court has not set him free if they believe that uh, what the court said or whatever that he has really committed any sort of offense why can't you jail him put him behind bar you cannot do that you cannot swallow him you cannot spew him out it's unfortunate well the same tinubu that kano wanted dead and used his food soldiers to burn his properties will now be happy to release him i don't understand so what is the offense of somebody who has committed that offense why can't uh, tinubu use that opportunity to say okay just sentence this guy if it is going to be life imprisonment if it is going to be 10 years if it's going to be 100 years why can't they do it why are they afraid to do that because this one is talking nonsense he's talking rubbish the other of lagos who was saying that uh, Igbo should be thrown into a lagoon so what, what what does that mean which properties are you even talking about and where where the properties located buhari has left nigeria government tinubu will soon leave nigeria government government is nobody's bet right do what is right whenever you are opportuned to do that well so guys uh let's say your opinion and have your take in the comment section is very very crucial and let's have it thanks